Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne, and acne positivity, and really just making you feel good in your own skin. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today we are going to be getting ready. I have so much products from Tarte Cosmetics here that I want to try out with you guys on camera, a little bit of a first impressions. I have a bunch of their um, Tarte C products and then just some other products as well that I'm really, really excited to try out with you guys. And we're just going to be talking, you know, starting 2023 on a good note. Happy New Year's to all of you, by the way. And I want to, you know, take some time in today's video, not only to play with makeup and have fun, but to talk about some things you can take in 2023 to just make you feel a lot more comfortable and confident in your own skin. And just some learnings that I've taken through, you know, the year um, in terms of what I would recommend as like your big sister in terms of skincare advice and for you to take on into your 2023 skin journey so let's just jump right into it i don't want to take up too much time by rambling on i want to get started on this makeup look here oh you tell me stories you talk me in and the second you leave i call you right back to check for monsters in my shoes um i want to start off by moisturizing the skin we've got the tarte drink of h2o moisturizer first thing i want to bring up first point i want to bring up is that you simply can not hate yourself enough to heal your skin or to achieve your skincare goals or even achieve clear skin that is just not going to happen and really what you're going to do is you're just going to be simply hating on yourself for literally basically no reason um because you can't hate yourself into healing. I know that sounds harsh, but I feel like that's what a lot of us are doing and something I used to do as well. I thought, you know, because you don't think of it like consciously, but you could sit there and hating your skin so much every single day, but frankly, doing that and hating on yourself is not going to make your skin heal any faster. So you can really just kind of substitute that with loving your skin at least you know your skin may not be where you want it to be right now but it can be in a few months so why should you just wait to be happy then you know like just be happy now i'm gonna use the um tarte c wink of h2o okay that's so cute this is the little eye cream i love the name of it i'm not the biggest eye cream person but i actually have been using a little bit more of hydrating eye creams under my eyes recently when i apply makeup especially because it's been so dry outside and I find my makeup does sit a lot better when I do have like a really moisturized and hydrated under eye. So there's that. Ooh, that applied so nicely and so did the moisturizer. I really enjoyed these two. I'll definitely be using these again. My skin feels really good and I feel, I just have a feeling that the makeup will go on so nicely over this super hydrated skin. So. These I will definitely be using again. The skin is feeling good already. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eye patches though. These are the Tarte C Pack Your Bags Under Eye Patches. We're just gonna really prep the skin for that hydrated look today, you know? So next thing I wanna talk about is loving your skin at every point in your journey. So loving your skin at every point in your journey is so important because, you know, I think people have this mindset where they're like, I'll be happy when, and they put like these conditions on their own happiness, you know, telling themselves like, yes, I'll be happy when this happens. I'll be happy when this happens. When it's like, why not just be happy now? You know, like, yeah, you might like feel a bit better when you have like really clear skin, but do you really think that that is going to be the source of your happiness? Because I don't think so. I used to think that way until I got clear skin and I was less happy than I am now with all this scarring and acne on my skin, you know? And this is just a phase. It's going to heal down. I'm, you know, I'm taking my um, supplements, you know, to re help regulate my hormones and help with my gut health. Um, because you guys already know like I went off birth control and that caused a bunch of issues for me but I realized through having acne that I am not my happiness isn't dependent on how my skin looks or how clear my skin is I'm going to go ahead and do my brows with the Anastasia brow freeze 
to slick them up like this. And I think it's really important to reflect on that because once you get clear skin, you're gonna realize, wait, that actually wasn't what was missing for me to be happy, you know? It's the same thing as saying like, if I were skinnier, I would be happy. You probably wouldn't be because let's say you do get skinnier or if you lose some weight, there's gonna be something else in your life at that point that you're going to be hating yourself on. Like, I remember I got clear skin and then I was insecure about other things. So like that insecurity just moved, it just shifted from my skin to something else. So that's something I really decided to change in the way I viewed myself and realized that my happiness isn't dependent on my appearance. And I think it's very similar in a sense to how people say like happiness isn't dependent on how much money you make or the things you have. Like nice things are nice. You know, I think Ozzy said this in one of his songs, like he likes nice things, but they're not gonna be the source of your true, true like happiness, you know? Like that happiness you feel like deep, deep down, not the happiness you feel when you're like unboxing a new piece of makeup. Cause I know we all get really excited about that, but I'm talking like true, true happiness is not going to come from those superficial things like your appearance or how much money you make you know it definitely can add but it's not going to be the source and i think that is something that's really important that we should all kind of focus on a bit more and trust me once you start working on that and putting that energy in you will see those differences in how you view yourself and it is truly amazing to see that because that's when you can really start making that progress in learning that self-love and self-confidence and it is such a big difference maker i'm gonna get started on the eye makeup i think and then we'll do the face what these patches kind of do their work a little bit more i think i want to just do like a very simple eyeshadow look today. I'm actually going to go ahead and t use the Tarte, um, Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette. I cannot believe I've never tried this palette. I feel like it's such like a popular item. I actually haven't tried too much Tarte makeup at all, but they sent me a bunch of new products, so I'm so excited about them. Thank you so much, Tarte, by the way. Like, oh, this palette is so pretty. I'm going to take a bit of the Tarte C Power Flex Antioxidant Concealer. And I'm going to use this. This is in the shade Light Neutral. Hopefully the shade's okay on this one. I'm going to use this to kind of prime the eyes with this. Next thing I want to bring up, and I kind of got this from a book I'm currently reading. One of the phrases that really stuck with me is, if you can't change something in your life like immediately or you can't like put in the work to change it right away um so if you don't have so basically the gist of it is if you don't have control over a situation in your life change your attitude and this phrase really really stuck with me because i think it is just so true because so many of us you know spend and lose so much of our energy over things we simply cannot control and one of those things being like our skin you know yes you can change how your skin looks over time but and like that's what i'm doing you know i'm working to try to figure out how to solve my hormone imbalance by what i put into my body and by exercising and all of that and i'm you know using skincare to help with pigmentation and scarring so yes i'm doing things every day that are in my control to help my skin but I can't do anything to change how my skin looks in the next like 30 seconds. I can't change something about my appearance that fast. And that's the same with like anything physical, you know, like if you don't like how your body looks, well, you can't change how your body looks in 30 seconds in the next five minutes or in the next day, but you can do things every day to help with that in the long run. It's just going to take some time. I'm going to take the shade Smarty Pants. I'm gonna start building this in the crease. I wanna do a very light eye lip, as I said. So I think this is a super important thing to take into 2023 and to really think about, like, you know, ask yourself, can I change this about myself in the next few minutes? No? Okay, I'm going to move on and I am going to put in the work that I need to put so I can see that progress and see those changes over time. And this will really change your mindset because you're going to be able to disconnect and stop putting energy into things you do not have control over. And coming into that, I also want to talk about a bunch of questions that I often get people asking me, 
how are you so confident in, in your skin? You know, people always ask me that. How do you have so much love for your skin? How can you be so comfortable showing your acne and showing your skin, you know, bare face all the time on camera? How can you just have so much love for yourself? I get these type of questions all the time through DM, my comments, like probably my most ask questions all the time and honestly my answer to you is is I'm not perfect I'm human there's still days where I look at myself in the mirror and I get discouraged or I start to pick on myself or I start to feel upset about how my skin looks but I have to bring it back and if you see yourself do this you have to just reel it back in and realize that it's okay to get in that dark mindset but it's how you come out of it that matters and that's something I really, really encourage that you take in to 2023 because you're going to have bad skin days. You're not going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't wake up every morning like sunshine and rainbows and just wake up like, oh my gosh, I love myself so much. No, there are some days like that, of course, because I've practiced this over a long time. But there's other days where I am not so confident in my skin and I get discouraged because again, I'm human and that's totally normal and that's totally a-okay. So what I do on those days where I start to get in that really bad headspace and really start to pick on myself, I have to step away from the mirror and I have to go do something that will make me feel better. Whether that's going to work out or doing my hair and makeup to, you know, just feel good in my skin or making a post on Instagram, or talking to my Discord fam on skin positivity, which if you want to join the Discord, the link is down below in my description box. I would love to see you there. So I, I just do something to try to get out of that negative space, you know? Or I'll like do my makeup, but I won't cover my acne, so I'll do it super light so that I can still feel confident in my skin. And this sort of mindset has really, really helped me because I can get out of that bad headspace and, you know, also give myself time to be a little negative. You know, I can acknowledge that for myself. I can acknowledge it. Okay, I don't feel good right now, but that is not a permanent feeling. I can come back from that and I can feel better in my skin if I just do some things, but, you know, journal a bit, talk to someone about how you're feeling and also acknowledge that you're gonna have those bad skin days you know where you don't feel 100% yourself but just also make sure you're not sticking in that space and that you're able to you know reflect on that day and realize okay today wasn't the best day what can I do tomorrow to make sure I have an amazing day and I feel confident in my skin so set yourself up for success the next day you know but it's okay to have bad skin days no one's perfect and I highly encourage you to realize that not every day is going to be amazing. I'm gonna go in with the Tart C Hydroflex. This is a serum foundation. This is so liquidy. Holy. I'm gonna need a brush for this for sure. Luckily I have one. This is the Tart C Hydro Smoother. This is such a beautiful brush. Look at this color. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's pretty dense so I think It'll actually work nice for this serum. I wonder if this will be too dark for me. It's in the shade 25N. And going back to that, you know, like feeling confident every day. At the end of the day, I think confidence is a mix of like something that comes from within, but also something you practice and you like enforce. I'm gonna now take the concealer in the shade 20N. So I really believe that confidence is a choice that you have to make every single day. It's like going to the gym. This is always the best analogy I like to give because some days you might wake up and you might feel so motivated to get to the gym and you might literally jump out of your bed and be like, today I'm going to have such a good workout. I cannot wait to get my body moving. Cannot wait to have like a difficult workout, you know, and that is going to be some days, but not all days. I bet even the people who love the gym so much, like I think of my brother, you know, like this guy is a total gym rat. He loves the gym. Like that is his happy place. There's going to be some days where he doesn't like going to the gym and he's going to have to on those days make sure that his mindset is there to make sure he still gets to the gym you know um same with me with filming content I love making content it's probably one of my most favorite things to do I feel safe I feel happy when I'm filming but there's some days I don't want to get up and put on makeup and put on a smile for the camera you know and there's going to be days like that where you just aren't in that right 
headspace to do that. And that is totally a-okay. Not every day is going to be 10 out of 10 perfect, but you gotta push yourself where you gotta push yourself. And I promise like once you start having that discipline, you're really gonna see those changes. I'm gonna take the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer. Look how beautiful this blue packaging is. I'm obsessed. So some days you're gonna wake up and feel confident in your skin. Other days you are gonna wake up and not feel so confident in your skin. So what are you gonna do for those days that you don't feel that confident? You're going to fake it till you make it. Honestly, that is the truth. And when people say that, like they say, it comes from somewhere because it's literally so true. Like on days where I'm not feeling like 100% confident naturally, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make a TikTok, I'm gonna post my content and I'm gonna put on a freaking fire outfit I'm gonna, you know, go into the world and be so confident that people would not even know that I might be having a bad skin day that day, you know? Because honestly, you fake it enough and you will just wake up one morning and you'll be like, actually today, I'm super confident. I don't even need to fake it today. That's just how I feel. I promise you that. Now I'm gonna take this Tarte Tipsy Cheek Stain. Look how beautiful this color is. Oh. Oh my gosh, I need to have this on right now. So honestly, that is one of the biggest things. Fake it till you make it. And if you keep telling yourself every day, I feel confident, I feel confident, I feel confident. You look in the mirror and you're like, you're the baddest bleep out here. One day you're just going to truly feel that way. Look how beautiful this color is. Okay. I'm obsessed with this blush. I cannot wait. I know it's like literally January right now, but... I cannot wait to use this blush in the summer. This will be such a great like beach essential where you just put it on. You get that like really, really nice sun kiss look. Next, I want to talk about a little bit of exterior factors since we've touched a lot on like what you can do internally with yourself. I do want to talk about external as well because obviously, you know, we all are social people. There are lots of people around us. We get influenced by people and our lives don't just go according to what we want. They're definitely influenced by the people around us. So with that, I wanna talk about unsolicited advice. I'm gonna set down my makeup. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have been so freaking obsessed with this. It is so good. I'm gonna take this double take eyeliner. So unsolicited advice, our favorite. Um, people are gonna give you advice whether you wanna hear it or not. So this used to really get to me. Like I was always so pressed when people wanted to give me skin advice and advice on my acne because I had been struggling with this so long and I'm like, you don't know what I've been through, you know? And the advice I'm gonna give you right now, which is what I gave myself as well is, yeah, that person actually doesn't know what you've been through and it's not really their job. Um, yes, it would be great if everyone just kind of kept their opinions themselves, but unfortunately, Again, we're human and sometimes we don't always do that and we also can't expect other people to, especially like the people who are close to us and comfortable with us. They're kind of going to speak their minds some more than others and I think the way you choose to deal with that is really what's going to be important here. Remember how I said earlier, if you can't change something in like a few minutes or a few seconds, change your attitude. I'm going to kind of apply the same type of logic in this situation because you cannot, con this is a matter of control, right? You cannot control what other people are going to say to you. You cannot control other people's opinions. But what you can control is your own attitude and how you react to those comments. And I think that is what is really important here. If someone gives you unsolicited advice, yeah, you can get really upset because they are not, you know, being considerate or that they even, you know, are giving you this advice in the first place you can really let this get to you and you can let it drive you absolutely crazy or you can take that step back and realize that yeah okay someone said something to me but am i gonna let this ruin my day because honestly it's not worth it at all i'm gonna take the other side with the eyeliner and do some tight lining because i used to really let this ruin my day like i would have someone comment something on my skin and it would drive me crazy the whole day after that now doesn't really happen anymore and mostly because i will give people the same amount of energy they gave me i really like to match that up i had a lady stop me in the street and she you know pointed out my skin and instead of you know letting that bother me the whole day she probably thought about me maybe 
what another minute after she actually saw me in person so why would i let why would i give her more than a minute if she gave me a minute i'm gonna give her a minute i'm gonna you know absorb the information she just told me i'm i'm going to acknowledge how that made me feel what she said you know like because it wasn't very like great to hear but i'm gonna acknowledge that and let myself feel those things but then for my reaction i'm gonna give myself that one minute to reflect on what she said and then i'm gonna move on with my day and you know it might be easier said than done what the heck is this i'm trying out this um maracuja juicy oil highlighter so yeah you can't control what other people are going to say to you but you can definitely control how your reaction is going to be and that is something i really encourage you guys to take with you in 2023 because you're going to find yourself wasting so much less energy on other people and you can take that energy and put it more towards yourself and your personal goals oh the makeup is coming together i'm really liking this i need some mascara i'm gonna use the tartlet tubing mascara i actually really love a tubing mascara so i'm excited for this this is heavy holy obviously you guys can't feel it over a video but it's like a heavy duty heavy like just this like wand itself is so heavy actually i'm gonna curl my lashes because you guys over on tiktok Y'all are savages, and y'all are always coming at me for not curling my lashes, so. You're right, they do look better when they're curled, so I'm gonna make sure I do that. It's not a step I, I usually do, so I'm like, keep forgetting. So this is a tubing mascara, so that means it'll come off nice and easy with just some like water. I'm applying so nicely. I really like this. It's really lengthening, and it's not clumping on my lashes at all. It's just making them look like a little bit better, you know? A little longer and a little more thick but it's not creating that like spider lash okay next for the lips i have these maracuja juicy lip tint thingies these look so nice i don't know what color i want to use maybe rose and orchid i also have peach but i don't really want to do a peach lip today let's open these up i see people apply these online and i just look at it like this because it looks so good and they just look so nice and juicy. Do I even apply a lip liner? Or do I just try these out? Let's go ahead and apply it. Oh. <laughs> I'm shook. I did not think it would feel like that. It literally feels like a lip gloss in a tube. That is really nice. And it's not sticky, but it looks so glossy and plump. Okay, we have two more products. I want to quickly try the Sugar Rush Cake Butter. Not what I was expecting. Usually body butters are like thick. This is like kind of a water-based formula. Very water-based. Let's just apply it on the arms. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like summer. It smells like summer vacation. It smells like self-love that we're going to be practicing in 2023. And speaking of self-love, I want to encourage you going into the new year to take five to ten minutes to yourself every day to reflect on yourself and give yourself that self-love that's why i love skincare and makeup so much because it is dedicated time that i can just focus on me and my myself i really want to use this it's the sugar rush shimmer time it looks so pretty i'm just gonna like pour it i just want to apply it on my shoulders oh my god let's apply it to the chest too i really like that so that is another thing I want you to really take into this year and just spend that time. But guys, that is the finished makeup look. I love how it turned out. I love the glow. I love how it feels on the skin. I love that you can still see my spots and everything. And I love everything we talked about in this video. Hopefully you could take something away and implement this into 2023. Please comment down below something you love about your skin and something that you are definitely going to take from this video that you're going to apply to your skin journey. I can't wait to see, you know, where this whole community is going to go this year i can't wait to see all of your skincare journeys and make sure you join the discord um it will be down below in the description so i can chat with you guys a bit more and i do actually have a podcast out now it's called loud talk with lavi and we talk about all things beauty beauty standards everything the whole theme of the podcast is breaking down the walls of beauty standards one flaw at a time so it's definitely something you're going to want to check out and not want to miss the first episode is out i cannot wait for you guys to listen i cannot wait to get your feedback so yeah, that is it for this video. Hope this helped you out and hopefully you enjoyed this little get ready with me. Thank you again, Tarte, for all the products. This video is not sponsored, but um, I just want to try out this new makeup and chat with you guys while I did it. So 
that's really all. I'm gonna stop rambling because I tend to do that a lot, but love you guys all so much. Happy New Year, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters in my streets.